Hello everyone, this is Quasfer. Welcome to episode 1 of uh, the Infinite Runner series. So, I wanted to show you something before getting into the first part. So, this is the showcase scene that I have done. I've made some models for the game. They don't look that good, but I certainly improved my texturing skills. Uh, with these so this is the train and there's the coin collectible coin and the obstacle a bush and a prop so that we can decorate our scene with these two so I'm working on the player this is uh, one version of the player but it's not the final version, I am working on it to ignore this. So we have, uh, we also have these, this model right here. I mean the default rig, rigged version. So I painted it in Blender. So I'll just upload all the props and models and put links in the description so that you can download and uh, you know use it for your project if you like them so let's get started uh, we'll just go to scenes and I created an, a new scene in which we'll talk about movement so until the player uh, play model is uh, unfinished we'll just uh, use a cube in place of the player so I'll just create a plane and I'll reset its transform to nil and yeah I'll just create a cube and place it somewhere there and tweak the directional light a little bit so now we have the dummy player we'll replace uh, the cube by the player at the end of the session when I am done with the modeling and rigging and animations so that we can actually take a look how exactly the game looks like so this is going to be our basic scene and let's make this a little bit narrow so that the player doesn't have uh, a very big room to run around so I'll just rename this as the player and we'll just tag him as the player now I'll go to playmaker and actually add an FSM that would say translate in the z-axis about 10 units per second every frame so that is going to be our speed of the player we'll just do it in a float and tweak it from the inspector later so now we will just take a look at how exactly the speed is going on player speed and I'll just set it to the inspector and I think 8 would do the trick yeah that is not that fast so we'll just uh, uh, 
elongate this one so that we have enough room to play. So now we'll just talk about the movement from one line to another. So just select the player and add another FSM and the first state is going to be the middle lane and I'll say get key down and I'll take two of them and we will be taking A and B we'll implement the controls for Android later so these are the basic controls for PC so we'll build the uh, game first in PC and then implement it in Android so when I press A it's going to go left and when I press D it's going to send an event which would go to the right lane so next from the right lane we can only use this and go back to the middle lane and from the left lane we can only use D and go back to the middle lane so that's pretty much it except for when I press A it would translate by minus 3 and I'll copy the same or just click on translate and this would be a positive 3 And now when we say we are going from the left lane to the middle lane, we'll just say transition left to mid middle and the same goes for the other side. So it's it's translate positive three and then I'll go for next frame event and this is going to come here. And now if I hit play then we should see this working yeah we are having problems with this we didn't disable these so we don't we don't want the uh, translate to be happening over time we need it to be only once and it should be snapped so now maybe it should work yeah so you can see that we have three lanes And the only thing that we are left with is the camera follow and we will just fix that. I'll just create a new object within the camera and drag it into the player and this is going to be my camera follow 
let's just name it cam follow you can name it anything so that way we can go to the camera and say move towards and the target object would be the player sorry not the player the camera follow and it should not finish at a distance it should go all the way so now it should probably be working all the way and the camera should follow along the player so I'll just stick to the same view and you can see that the camera is following along okay we have another bug to fix so that is basically when the player changes a lane the camera would snap to the same position so we would work on that but for now this is the basic setup for the changing lanes so instead of I'll just give him a speed of 5 so that it doesn't, you know, kind of go quickly. Yeah, so we have a snapping system, but we need this to. Yeah, it's working fine. So now in the next episode we will talk about jumping and how to dodge obstacles and stuff. So next episode is about jumping across obstacles. This is Crossfire signing out.